Hello, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. The last episode, I had to kind of stop it abruptly, sorry. But what I went ahead and did is I used Phoenix Down on Gao to get him back up. Then I used a couple potions to heal everybody back up to full health, so we can continue. Alright, and now I can record for more than 15 minutes on YouTube, so that's really nice. So let's go. Oh, look at that. Didn't even pre-practice this, and I just got that down. Actually, I wasn't able to pre-practice this part, because there wasn't a good save where I was, so... Just kind of had to leave my game on for a while. Glad it didn't overheat. Actually, it's not even hot. It's like in between cold and warm. I love the old systems. If I would have left my Xbox on for two days, it would have died. Alright, let me go in here. And you see there's a chest over there, but we can't really access that. So we just got, we're like, oh well. Let me come out here. And deal. Go to drain that. Go down in the hole. And then, oh, we can access the chest. And this part, like I said, there's some chests you want to wait for. This chest isn't one of them, because there's going to be like a second half of the game that's kind of different from the rest of the game. Try not to spoil anything, but basically this part won't be in that part, this whole underwater part, so it's okay to open this chest. You get a green beret. I don't really remember what that does, so I'm going to look. <laughs> I think it's a hat. Yeah, it raises HP a little, so we'll see if he can use that. Yep. Cool. Alright, then we go at this exit and continue. One last stretch. And we arrive, washed up on a village. And we're like, oh, that was crazy. We just go here, and there's actually some people you can buy from. You can buy from this crazy kid. Or wait, no, you can't. Maybe this kid. <laughs> yep. Alright. No, uh, there's nothing really want to buy. It protects against poison and dark. Don't have enough money, but I think that protects against imp and silence, if I remember correctly. Which I've been kind of one for one on that lately, or like one out of two, I guess, on when I've been right and stuff. Yeah, nothing really wanna need to buy right now. I mean, could buy some hats, but. Eh, it's not a big deal. So basically what you do is you're around here. Actually, you know what? I will check this out because I have some money to spend, so I'll see who needs one. Everybody could use one of these, it looks like. Question is what I can afford. Owned one. Well, since I have one, I can go ahead and put that on. Gal. Oh, it wasn't even optimized, huh? No wonder he was dying so fast. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright, so I need three of these, which I can't afford. I can afford two, though, which is actually okay, because Terra should use the Megas hat. But I won't be able to afford that. I'll be just shy of it, actually. Which kind of sucks, so I'll see if there's something I can sell. Get 250 GP. Yeah. Because Cyan Swords just kind of like scale. Like the next one you get is the, obvi is the obvious better one. So it's fine to sell some of his stuff if you want to. Alright. So what we'll go ahead and do is we will then buy the Megas hat for her. Alright. 
then we bought some stuff. We've only got 233 GP, so I'm not really worried about anything else at the moment. I believe we go talk to this guy. South Big Rofa. Yep, that's where we need to go. Hop aboard. Arsh is just a stone's throw away. Hope the others arrived safely. I'm sure they did. Me hope so too. Choose a scenario. Kupo. Alright, sorry for the noise. I'm drinking a little root beer out of a bottle, because that's how cool I am. Alright, so we'll go ahead and save. Then next uh Go ahead and do this one. This one's pretty easy, so. Fleeing the Empire's troops, Ban and Edgar and Terra ride the rapids toward Narsh. But the going won't be easy. We're back on the river. This time we won't ride into an octopus though. Should finish them off. Yep. Alright. Da, da, da. Da, da. All right, then you are back on this overworld again, and you'll notice there's Nurse right there. Then this bucket will still heal our HP and MP, so we'll go ahead and drink from that. Then if you remember from the previous episode... When Locke first helped me, he fiddled with something right around here. Knowing him, there's probably some secret switch in this rock wall. And you just kind of go up here. Some were rats. If you remember my last episode, I said they were susceptible to fire. Leave it like that. You don't really need to have good equips for this part because you're just kind of fighting old enemies that we fought in the very beginning of the game, so they're pretty wimpy. You go around here. You're going to want to follow the star around and go in the right direction. I always mess it up. I'll do it on purpose though, so you guys can see what happens if you go the wrong way. Goodness, what's that? I think it's... this is a security checkpoint. If we follow the light exactly, we'll probably be okay. If we make a mistake, the light will surround us to proceed safely. We must tag the glimmering light. So what happens is you go the wrong way, say you go up here. You have to take that gold one. And if you miss... Huh, that's where I was supposed to go. kind of hard with sprint shoes. 
If you're playing on the Game Boy Advance one, it automatically takes Sprint off for this part, so be careful. If you take the wrong one, you have to fight an enemy. And it's not some wimpy first area enemy, it's like an enemy that could match you at your current level. But yeah, that's that little room. He'll be dead. We got a tonic. And we go down here. If you'll remember, this is the place where uh, the Moogles were with us. Speaking of Moogles. <laughs> I like the Moogle music. Dun, dun, dun. They all say Kubo. <laughs> oh. Get out of there, little buddy. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Don't grab that chest. Don't. <laughs> I was trying to think if that's when you can grab or not. And we still don't want to grab these chests. We're not at the point where they're going to have better things in them yet. Right. Auto crossbow should kill him. As I said, don't open those chests. There's a save point. Auto crossbow should take him out. Just in case it doesn't. Alright. And it did. Alright, cool. Got a tonic. Then we'll just continue on our quest. Just keep going down here, and then we'll pop out. And you'll remember this is where the guard spotted Terra. As she was escaping. And here's the old man's house, where we first arrived in the game. Bannon, King Edgar, and Terra. Arvis, what's happening here in Narsh? The town's neutral. I've tried to get the people to side with the returners, but... Anyway, why on earth have you come here? First, how are your people doing? They all went slightly berserk when the Esper was discovered. We believe this young woman is our only hope of reaching out to that Esper. My people are dying to know what the Esper looks like. Maybe Terra can help restore some order to our town. That Esper is either going to save us or dig us an early grave. Choose a scenario, Kupo. See, that's a short scenario. Figured I could get that one done out of the way. Alright, then we'll go ahead and save again. Then talk to Locke. Locke has worked hard to stime the efforts of the Imperial troops, but now he desperately needs to escape. Nuts, gotta get to Narsh on the fly. Alright. So we'll just continue along. He needs some sprint shoes. Should have some. And I don't. For some weird reason. I wonder if Shadow kept his equips. Well that sucks if he did. And I don't have a shield though. Jeez, I'm in trouble guys. Um, I don't think he could go into any of the shops in this part either. Uh, uh oh. 
Well... Could buy some of these. Um, I have one tent. I know where I'm gonna use that, so... I'll buy some tonics. That will put us at... 37. Alright. That way I'll have 40 tonics, and yes, I want that many. <laughs> uh, I have three phoenix downs, that should be fine. Alright, talk to this guy. You're that thief lock, aren't you? Hey, call me a treasure hunter, I'll rip your lungs out. Whoa. It's like getting all Mortal Kombat over here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna steal, and we couldn't, so we'll have to wait. This part's probably gonna make some of you guys laugh. Made me laugh when I first saw it. Steel. Got a plume tat. Stole his clothing too. Here we go. These are a little tight, but the price was right. <laughs> then he's a B day suit. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. And then you get to walk around as a merchant. Sorry. And we'll just keep going around. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, I hate walking this slow. <laughs> I think you gotta talk to this guy. What? No cider? And you're like, what? What about cider? We don't know anything about any cider. Jeez. My grandfather was a servant for the richest man in town. Merchant, right? You may proceed. Thanks, kid. Let's see what kind of hat. Okay, we got him an iron helmet. That's good. At least he has that. And he's got an air lancet, so. Oh, wait, he should have Genji glove, anyways, so. Then we'll give him Atlas armlet. That'll make up for his, uh. lack of a shield. He'll just be doing great DPS. And don't talk to soldiers, because they'll beat the crap out of you. Ah, uh, I completely forgot you're supposed to... This is like a secret passageway. Go down there, to the left, up. Then you can steal that green guy's clothing, but it's kind of pointless. I guess if you just want to walk around as a green soldier, you can go talk to all the brown guards and tell them what to do. <laughs> then you just walk up here. Oh yeah, you're supposed to go in the cafe side. Oh well. You go down here. You can go steal that merchant's clothes. I think there's like three merchants. Clothes you can steal and like two green guys so you can kind of switch around. But you need the merchant. So if you want to mess around, always make sure you can get back to a merchant. Alright. And you go right... I don't remember. Hey you, come to steal my cider? You thief! Uh oh, we call, called Block a thief. And he tries to steal again. Yes, we got on the first try. Stole his clothing too. Here we go. I don't need to read this because you guys already saw it in that last part. Alright. So we got his clothes now. Now he's gonna run away. And. Got the cider. Took the old man's cider. Oh yeah, I should check that. See if there's any special stuff in here. Nope. 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 Walking faster than Sonic right now. That's how fast we're going. In case you guys couldn't tell. Ah. Alright, then you go down here. Alright, sorry about that, but my uh, headset died. Alright. For some reason my sound's not coming into my ear, but I'm pretty sure it's still playing. Sorry if it's not. 
but I, I mean, try to fix it to the best if I can if it's not, but I can't really go back in this game because like I save and I just kind of have to go if I mess up or not. Sorry guys. Grandfather was a servant for the richest man in town. Merchant, right? You may proceed. Alright, you go up here and we got that cider for him so he'll be pretty happy. That's some good root beer. Ah, cider, gluck, gluck. Ah, secret passage. Well, there is one that leads to the rich man's house. Go downstairs and give my grandson the password. It's, uh, um, I forget. Alright, so I forget is the password. So we're gonna go down here. We go down the stairs and we tell him I forget. Wait. He really did forget. Uh oh. Okay, no big deal. Let's see, Rosebud, that sounds cheesy. Failure, yeah, that's probably not it. Courage. There we go. Secret entrance. Then you go down here. Then it puts you up here. There should be at least an elixir in that clock. I'm kind of checking everything just to double check, but... Yep, there we go. Don't be scared to use elixirs. Like, I don't know. You guys won't see me, see me use them that much because I'm kind of scared to use them because they're really precious, but I mean, as long as you don't use them like super often, you just use them once in a while, it's like fine. Just don't get too elixir happy since they are the rarest item in the game. You can't buy them. Just so you guys know, there's no merchant that sells elixirs. Ever. So just remember that. Then you can hear a breeze, kinda. I don't even have my headset on, I just remember it kinda sounds windy. You go on, you go down here. And then it's like, right down here. Change clothes? Uh, yeah. You go, you go in this first door. And he's peeking in and he's like, what's that? I've seen her before. Of course, she's one of the Empire's generals. This is what happens to traitors. Product of genetic engineering, battle-hardened Magitech Knight with a spirit as pure as snow. Celeste. Or Celis. I always call her Celeste. So the mighty Celeste has fallen. How can you serve those cowards? Hold your tongue. Isn't it true Kefka's going to poison the people of Doma to the east? Shut up. <laughs> I'd hate to be in your shoes tomorrow. Keep a close eye on her. Yes sir, I can go for days without sleep. Game Boy Advance one, they uh, cut that part out for some reason where she's getting punched. I mean, you know, I guess it's not really needed, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Alright, so we go in that room after we carefully evaded the guard. You go remove her change and wait a few minutes. Man, yeah, I'll just remove her change. And you are... I'm with the Returners. Name's Locke. Returners? I used to be General Celeste. Now I'm just a common trader. Let's go. You take me along? Thanks, but no thanks. I can barely walk. I'm grateful, but even if you got me out, you'd never be able to protect me. No, I think I'm better off here. I'll protect you. Trust me, you'll be fine. Let's go. Wait. The soldier has something important on him. 
stealing is wrong. Yeah, we just stole people's clothes, so I think taking a key is not that big of a deal. <laughs> Took the clock key. And some bread, too. Mumble. And he fell asleep. I guess he can't stay awake for days. Now Celeste is an awesome character, because she can either be a real powerful mage, or a really powerful melee character, depending on how you use her. Let's see what we have for optimum for her. Not much, so we'll go ahead and put her in back row. And we'll put earrings. And... No, we don't really need anything else. should be a save point in this room. Yep. Alright, that'll be where we end this episode. Stay tuned to find out what happens to Locke and Celeste.